Hey everybody, welcome to Thursday's at home workout brought to you by CrossFit Progression or Progression Fitness. Uh, today, our first piece we're going to talk about is how to use these videos. I mentioned this yesterday, but again, the best practice, in my opinion, is to play this on your phone or to cast it to a larger display and use this and stop and start this video as you work out and as you're moving through the different pieces of today's workout. Below, you'll notice in the workout description on the YouTube section there down below, uh, I have listed out different times for each piece of today's workout, like the strength portion, the warm up, the workout. You can click back and forth between those as you need to by pressing that blue hyperlink. Uh, and you can that makes it easier to repeat sections you want to rewatch or follow along with again, uh, as well as skip ahead. Maybe you already have a warm up and you're ready to go right to the strength piece. So please use those uh, to make this experience even better. Uh, with that being said, we're going to start today with a mindset piece. While we're still all at home creating new habits, the mindset that we have to have is that I can be fit anywhere in any way. Say that again. I can be fit anywhere and any way. And the number one reason I know this is true is because all of us have the number one piece of equipment you could ever have at home, and that's ourselves, okay? Uh, chew on that one today. So with that being said, uh, does this mean, what does this mean? It means through trial and error, you're gonna figure out a way to stay as fit or become more fit than you've ever been. Okay, you might have to add more wet reps, for example, on today's bicep curls. Maybe every set, you're gonna add five extra reps to make it more difficult if you have lighter weights. That's just one of many endless examples of trialing and airing your own workouts at home. With that being said, don't hesitate to reach out to your favorite coach. We're here for you. We'd be glad to hop on a Facebook chat or a Zoom call uh, if anybody wants to go over movement or form checks or just to chat about the workouts. So with that being said, uh, let's talk about our Grease the Groove Challenge today. Today's Grease the Groove Challenge uh, that you're gonna perform every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the day today is a 20 second air squat hold. In the following video, you'll notice several different ways that you can stay active in that air squat if you get bored easily. You can do some sky reaches, you could do some monk prayers where you see me putting my hands or my elbows between my knees and putting my palms together and pressing down. And then you can just do a contract relax where you see my back relaxing and then straightening up. Breathe out, breathe in as you go through that piece. Or you can just sit in the air squat and rock side to side. Next up, we have our warm up. So today, as always, please go ahead and let's hit up five to 10 minutes of cardio. Uh, if we had time during a normal class, I would definitely put you on the bike for five to 10 minutes or I'd have you go for a run for five to 10 minutes. This is a really, really easy way to get used to or start to get used to longer pieces of cardio. For example, going for jogs, walks, running. Okay, again, if you're not able to do that, or if we are put on total lockdown, another thing that you can do is just put together your favorite body weight movements, mountain climbers, air squats, um, high knee steps, marching in place. You can just do marching in place for five to 10 minutes. That'd be a fantastic cardio warm up. If you can do that, fantastic. It's gonna get difficult fast. As soon as you get done with your five to 10 minutes of cardio, we're immediately gonna go into the following warm up. 20 calf raises, 20 hip bridges, 20 shoulder taps, and 40 high knee steps. Go ahead and follow along with this video while I take you guys through the first round. Two, first up are the calf raises. Just going up, balancing on the front of your foot. If you find yourself going forward, then you're going too high. Just up and hold, relax. Up and hold. Relax, keep going all the way until you get to 20 reps. I think I'm about five away. Three, two, one. Next up, we're gonna do some hip bridges. So have a seat on the floor. Walk your heels as close to your butt as you can. 
hands or palms straight up, head resting on the ground. I'm just gonna squeeze my butt towards the ceiling. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next up we have 20 shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six,
All right, folks, thanks again so much for joining me for the workout of the day. Stay tuned for tomorrow's at-home workout. Uh, if you have any comments, feedback, or questions, please post in the comments in our private Facebook group or email me or PM me personally or give me a call. All right. Have a great rest of your day, folks. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, grease the groove, 20 seconds, air squat hold the rest of the day. Bye.